Madison County woman is speaking out tonight after witnessing what she says is a mental health crisis at the local jail. Evening Edition's Christiana Ford takes an in-depth look at the allegations and how mental health is treated behind bars. The walls of Ramey Birchfield's home are lined with photos and paintings of her son Logan Browning. This is Logan when he's a little boy. Logan is now behind bars, accused of barricading himself inside an ex's apartment in an hours long standoff and setting the apartment on fire. He will do fine in the prison, but I just want him to be treated like a human being that he is. Birchfield has kept notes of her son's battle with mental illness, which she says started in the third grade. Logan, I'm here with the news channel people. They're at the house right now. Birchfield says she's tried to get him his prescribed medication in the Madison County Jail, but was denied. Weeks later, Logan says he's still without his medicine. I personally took prescriptions down for my son, and they were denied to him. He's been denied doctor visits. I just think that when they need their medicine, they need their medicine. She's now worried that with the way mental health is handled in the jail, he won't make it out alive. You know, maybe two years before he goes to court. So I just want to know that, you know, he's not going to attempt suicide because he's not getting his medicine. He's getting made fun of because he's not on his medicine. We looked at suicide attempts at the Madison County Detention Center and we found all these. 45 different incident reports since the pandemic began in 2020. The reports detail actual attempts and inmates put on suicide watch. Madison County Jailer Stephen Tussie says he believes those numbers are inflated. He says they use a service called jail triage when prisoners are brought in, which leans on the side of caution and puts inmates on suicide watch until they can be properly evaluated. But the National Alliance on Mental Illness in Kentucky says mental health is a huge issue behind bars and they're working with lawmakers to find a solution. Our county jailers are extraordinarily overburdened in many circumstances. Their employees do the best that they can, but they simply don't have the tools or the financial resources uh, that they need. Madison County Jailer Stephen Tussie says his staff is properly managing mental health issues, and to his knowledge, no inmates have gone without medications. Birchfield says she just wants people to be aware there's more going on behind the scenes. It's not just my son, it's a lot of people. This is going on all over, and I just want people to be aware of it. In Madison County, Christiana Ford, Evening Edition.